Hey, what's up guys? My name is Joe Bunn, the founder and owner of Bunn Gear. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about the setup of your new command center and some things you're going to want to do before you take it out to an event. Now this should take maybe 30 minutes to an hour tops and then you're not going to ever have to do most of this stuff again. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look inside at the bridge system or these rails for how you sit your gear on top of them so that it sits flush with this lid. Let's take a look inside. Okay guys, so you'll see this rail system that we've set up in here and what I'm calling these bridges for sitting your controller or your turntables on. And the way you're gonna adjust these is with the included Allen key. So here's what you're gonna do. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab your controller or your turntables and set them inside. So I do wanna make a point. If you're using turntables, battle style of course, and a mixer in the middle, you're going to need two extra pairs of these bridges and you're gonna order those at bungear.com. This also applies to the Rain 72 mixer and the Rain 12s. Okay guys, so one of the first things I'm gonna do is obviously I'm gonna get my controller and I'm gonna set it on top of these two bridges. And then I'm gonna get the lid and place it around it. So if you'll come around here, I'll show you a couple of things. So if we look inside right here, you can see that this bridge is a little too far over. The controller is barely on here. And if you look over here, you'll see that it's actually in a really good spot. It's supporting the entire controller. So what we're gonna wanna do is move this one in a little bit and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Again, you're gonna just take your Allen key and you're gonna loosen right here and then on the other side as well. And that allows this rail to move back and forth like so. So we're basically gonna, gonna move it just in a little bit, right around here. Take the Allen key, turn it to the right, and call it a day. Now we'll put the controller back up, lid back around it, take a look again. And now you can see it's well supported on both sides. The other thing you're gonna wanna do, depending on the depth of your controller, is to adjust those rails or the bridges up and down. And basically what you're trying to do is get the face of your controller level with this lid. Let me show you how to do that right now. So what I like to do is leave the controller on here. And then basically again, with your included Allen key, let's say that the controller was sitting a little bit below that lid. All you do is go here on this 90 degree bracket and then also on the opposite side here, turn those to the left or counterclockwise, loosen it up and again, if it was sitting a little bit low, bump it up a little bit and then clockwise tighten them down. Same thing on the other side, loosen it, put your hand on it, under it, raise it up a little bit and then again, put the lid back on and check it again. It's really gonna be one of those eyeball type things, guys. I've tried to measure it, I've tried to use a level, found out the floor wasn't level, tried to use a tape measure and a marker. I've tried all different methods, but at the end of the day, the easiest way is just to eyeball it. A little bit of trial and error, again, and your Allen key is going to get you set up and then once you get this done the first time, unless you change controllers, it can stay like that forever. Another thing you'll wanna set up is your laptop stand. Again, all aluminum, just like everything else, super light. Uh, the only things you really need to know is it's got a quick release here. If you ever had a 10 speed bike, that's all you need to know, but you basically just do that. And then you can pivot it to the angle you want. Uh, if it ever comes loose, you'll just put a little bit of tension on this other side and again, Boom, when you find the angle you want, lock it down. Now check this out. What we've also included is three different locations you can put your laptop stand, or if you wanna do one, two or three laptops, you can do that as well. I like mine over on the right because I like to see the crowd out here dancing. So what you're gonna do is find the spot that you want your laptop stand. I'm gonna put mine over here on the right. And you're gonna just slide it right into this little clamp that we created all the way through. And then you've got two knobs on here that increase the tension so that the laptop stand is secure and won't spin. Say you want your laptop stand a little bit further away, so you've got long arms. All you have to do is loosen these up and move the entire plate back. 
Let's say you want to take the laptop from over on the right and move it to the middle. First, you're going to want to take out these blanks. And to do that, you just reach underneath and you'll feel these little things that you squeeze in and then just push them up. So once you get these out and you want to move that laptop stand from say left or right to the middle position, you'll move your grommets here. And then the other thing you're going to need to move is obviously that dark green clamp inside. The way you do that is to loosen these screws here and slide it off the end of the rail. You're going to move that green clamp either below this hole or that one, depending on where you want your laptop stand, tighten it back down and you're ready to go. So as you'll notice, the booth came with these pre-drilled holes on the side. If you bought the antenna kit, it's very simple. Screw, nut, mount it, and then you can run your BNC connected cables right off the back of it. If you didn't get that and you wanna just blank it out, you can also buy blanks for that as well. Another accessory that we sell, we call the hook. And this is for hanging your microphone or your headphones. No hardware needed whatsoever. We've designed it just to hang right here on the lip and then take your mic or your headphones and put it right there. Another accessory that we sell at bungear.com is this rack shelf. And it's really simple. Basically what you've got in the bottom of this DJ booth is a 10U rack space. Now, as you can see down here, it looks just like a regular rack. You've got threaded rails on the back. And so in order to mount the shelf, all you do is grab yourself some rack screws and then put the shelf on the spot you want and simply use a drill or a screwdriver to put it in. So guys, there you have it. The initial setup of your Bun Gear Command Center. If you have any questions at any time, you can always email me directly and I promise I'll get right back to you at contact at bungear.com.